Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we're gonna take a look at exciting stock market news, what's ahead this week for earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. All right, guys, let's jump right into this morning's exciting stock market news. We are starting the week off with U.S. stock futures in the green. We currently have the Dow futures up 0.84%, S&P 500 futures up 0.48%, while NASDAQ futures are up 0.37%. A Bitcoin futures ETF should be hitting the market on Tuesday. Bitcoin is trading above $61,000 in anticipation of this big cryptocurrency milestone. Fund sponsor ProShares appeared to have won regulatory approval late Friday for its Bitcoin strategy ETF. The company filed a post-effective registration statement with the SEC and the New York Stock Exchange approved the listing. Fund sponsors have been trying for years to win approval from the SEC for Bitcoin ETFs, and the SEC hasn't yet approved any ETFs that would own Bitcoin directly. Through a series of tweets, it was shared that Square might be exploring the possibility of developing a Bitcoin mining system. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey tweeted the need to decentralize mining to make the Bitcoin network more resilient. The Square executive questions why Silicon designs it concentrated in a few companies, leading to supply overlay constraints. Consequently, Dorsey has confirmed the formation of a Square team that will start a deep technical investigation on whether to work on making Bitcoin mining decentralized and as easy as possible. The Square stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of nearly 27%. Shares of the Zillow Group are sliding in the pre-market this morning after the company announced they would be halting home purchases for the remainder of the year. Zillow told Bloomberg in an email that it was beyond operational capacity in their Zillow offers business and are not taking on additional contracts to purchase homes at this time. The company bought over 3,800 homes in the quarter, the most the company has ever purchased in a single quarter by a wide margin, while selling just over 2,000 homes. Zillow said that pausing new acquisitions will allow them to work through their backlog. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of over 60%. Apple could be facing regulatory headaches in South Korea. The iPhone maker could be the subject of a probe over new legislation requiring it to stop forcing app developers to use their payment systems. The Telecommunication Business Act, which went into effect last month, requires the likes of Apple and Google to allow developers to choose the payment systems of their choice. The law came into effect as South Korea sought to curtail tech giants' market dominance and stop the companies from charging commissions on in-app purchases. The Korea Communications Commission could ask Apple to issue a new company policy, giving third-party payment systems greater autonomy. The Apple stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of 17%. And Steel Dynamics revealed that it has entered into an agreement to acquire a minority stake of 45% in New Process Steel. New Process Steel is a leading metals products manufacturer and supply chain solutions provider in the country. The CEO of Steel Dynamics said that this minority equity interest enables us to grow our exposure to value-added manufacturing opportunities while continuing to serve our other long-standing flat-rolled steel customer needs. Analysts rate the Steel Dynamics stock a strong buy with an average upside of 32.5%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we're waiting to hear from State Street and Albertsons, and in the after hours, we'll be hearing from Steel Dynamics. Things start to pick up on Tuesday, where we'll be hearing from Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, and Halliburton in the pre-market, and in the after hours, we'll be hearing from Netflix and United Airlines. And come Wednesday, we'll hear from companies like Verizon, IBM, and Spotlight Stealer, Tesla. 
There'll be more big names to end off the week as well. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Vedanta. Under the ticker VEDL, they're currently up just about 9%, followed by the Centres Electricas Brasileiras SA under EBR, up 7.9%, and Fuel Cell Energy under FCEL, up 7.5%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by the Penske Automotive Group. Under the ticker PAG, they're down 8.1%, followed by Checkpoint under CHKP, down over 7%, and Ionis Pharmaceuticals under IONS, down 3.7%. So that'll be everything for Monday's pre-market morning update, bringing you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Monday or as good as a Monday can get, and I will see you back here next time.